the chosen one. Hello, welcome. I'm the chosen one. I'm Big Daddy Turner. And guess what? I've got the post draft news right here. We're going to see what my thoughts are on the whole process throughout this. All right, I'm going to go through the draft picks first, and then I'm going to tell you some of the funny moments and what I thought was pretty decent in that whole event. Raw, they got the pick of the litter, I guess, so you could say. MVP, United States Heavyweight Champion, coming to Raw. Come on over, baby, because you're going to take over. Let's see how you're doing. Let's see if you get a big push and maybe a chance at a big title. We'll see how that goes. Big Show, so overrated, it ain't even funny. They yelling his name. They sitting there, I heard them say, oh, they just got even bigger. The Big Show ain't done nothing in years. And he's not going to do nothing now that he's on Raw. He'll be uh, just running around doing bullshit. Matt Hardy. Oh, my goodness, Matt Hardy. Let me get me started. Jeff Hardy needs to be back on Raw. Matt Hardy needs to go to SmackDown, back to SmackDown, whatever. We need Jeff Hardy back on Raw. Get rid of Matt Hart. Triple H back on Raw, I guess you could say. Maybe things will get interesting on Raw. But, as we know, John Cena is going to SmackDown. Or, Edge is going to win a title at Backlash. One of the two things is going to happen. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the Miz. Well, I guess he just got the note that he will be released sooner or later because... He's been drafted to Raw. He'll probably never debut on the actual show. And he sucks. Anyway, Maurice, she's pretty fine. But how much will we be seeing of her on Raw? ECW, they kind of got them a snag. They needed something. I guess Kozlov will be doing pretty good there. Uh, that's the only pick ECW had. Uh, SmackDown had Molina. CM Punk, Kane, Chris Jericho, and Rey Mysterio. CM Punk, I like him. I think he should have stayed on Raw. Kane, he needs something fresh and new. They move him around every year anyway. Chris Jericho, I think it's about time they put the title back on Jericho. That'd be good. Rey Mysterio, too Raw. Well, they had United States Heavyweight Champion, MVP on Raw. So, yeah, they're going to move Rey Mysterio to SmackDown. Whoopity do. All right, now for the funny facts of tonight's uh, event. I'm going to be doing a show post WWE, uh, Raw, SmackDown, ECW shows, whatever, or not. Tune in, and if you get a chance to join this channel, subscribe down the box over here and make sure because I want to get many views. And uh, tonight, Santino Morella and Kali fought. <laughs> well, we knew where that one was going. Uh, I tell you what, I, I watch. I've been watching WWE forever, and Kali. I'd love to see him stand next to the Giant Gonzalez. If you remember the Giant Gonzalez, he was back in late ninety, early ninety three. Uh, that would probably be the worst match in WWF history, or WWE history. But <laughs> I'd like to see them two stand next to each other. The Miz turns on John Morrison. Now, who didn't see that coming? Shit. I don't care. To me, The Miz was holding Morrison back. Morrison needed to get rid of him. So, you know, that, that's good that they broke up. I didn't like them to start with. I thought Morrison was way better than The Miz. I thought Miz was overrated. He can be all right sometimes, but he just ain't got it. Edge wins the Battle Royal for the second year in a row. Well... Who didn't see that coming either? I'm so sick and tired of hearing the word Edge. And Vicky Guerrero, for that matter. Edge uh, won the battle. All right, well, that's good. Because it didn't come down to nobody anyway. Mark Henry. Ah, who gives a shit? Big Show. Nah, I don't care. Edge. I don't care. I'd have rather seen Tyson Kidd win this battle royal than Edge. Uh, Christian. I'm glad he, he probably took on Benjamin and he, they had a pretty decent match. It wasn't nothing special. Shelton Benjamin never disappoints in the ring. He only disappoints on the microphone. Matt Hardy wins by DQ. CM Punk was fizzing a whoop that ass. Uh, Jericho beats Dreamer. That was just 
stupid. But uh, Triple H, Batista, and <laughs> Shane McMahon beating uh, Ted DiBiase and uh, Cody Rhodes. That was a uh, that was a, that was a pretty damn good match. At the end. I, I give that a three, uh, four and a half stars, but uh, out of five. But I still think that at Backlash, I mean, I've been watching wrestling, like I said, forever. Since I was a little kid. And for the last 10 years, Triple H has held that title. I mean, I haven't seen it on many people different. but Except for the last year or two, that's been a little different. But anyway, make sure you subscribe to this box and tune in for more videos from the chosen one, Big Daddy Turner. We're out of here. The Chosen One. <laughs>